Hi, it is a privilege to be with you once again, talking about questions that sort of perplex people as we're working into this now brand new world of generative AI, a place where AI, artificial intelligence, can create for us varying kinds of writings or art or these sorts of things. And I was a faculty member for many years and the question comes up, what needs to be cited? When do we need to give AI credit for what it has done versus claim that it's our own? And in answering this question, I attack it or I come at it from two different phases, if you will. One is to go into traditional writing and say, what do we cite? If I'm writing an academic piece, if I'm writing a, a longer journal article, I will put in appropriate footnotes for things that are five to seven words or longer that I've taken from an additional site. I don't feel any need in my writing to say, I looked at 15 books and checked out their outlines. I don't feel any need to cite that I have um, an outline from before that I looked at. And so what would be the analog in AI? I have gone to ChatGPT, which is the one I go to first, although I use perplexity also, and do things like, what are the conventions for writing, for example, a white paper? And they'll make a lovely list of pure things you need to think about. I don't think that needs to be cited in a work. I, it's a research piece for me, it's background. Now, if we move into an organizational setting out of an academic setting, we have tons of things that get replicated. So for example, I worked at the Colorado Secretary of State for many years, and part of my job was to write public service announcements. And so as we got ready to do a public service announcement for voting, I would go back and see what we had done before, what were some other good models, and I would write them. I felt no need to cite the fact this is modeled after what we did in 2016. We just did it. And in business, we have a lot of those what we call go-bys, things that we have used before, templates. And again, if we use AI as a template, I don't think that needs to be cited either. The most interesting one, though, is AI as a conversation partner. I have a colleague who will said that if you go into, she uses Claude, um, four to five times of engaging with the conversation, they're now your words and not AI's words. And so I thought the analog was editing. If I do a longer piece and I have an editor who's made a significant contribution, it is my practice to acknowledge that editor. And I frankly just did a writing where I did a longer piece and I used ChatGPT as an editor. And I acknowledge that in a footnote because again, my analog as a creative is if I had a human doing this, I would acknowledge that. Therefore, I will acknowledge the um, AI support. And so as we begin to think about this practice, which we call ethics making, where we're figuring out what the protocols will be, different people who are writing and using AI in their art or various forms will have their own sensibilities about what should or should not be cited. And as we respond to each other and go, was that really your writing or did you use AI? You'll know, hmm, maybe I should have cited it. Or if they cited it, go, what, what were you thinking about? You didn't need to do that. We go, hmm, maybe I don't. My expectations over the next, I don't know, three to five years, will have a set of protocols that are as watertight, perhaps, as Chicago Manual of Style is for writing, which I use for all my writing because we together will have decided how do we want to acknowledge the contribution that this new technology is making to our creative endeavors. Have fun creating and have fun thinking about what should you cite when you use AI. Thank you.